Hey, Adam, thanks again for the great question. And this is a response to your compressor question. How do I use compressors? So what I've done is, and I think this will be a great example for you, I've created three video projects today within Final Cut Pro 10. So what I'm going to do is send these three video projects to compressor, and then I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to do project number one, which is this one. So I'll just do file, send to compressor, new batch. And that's going to launch compressor. And then I'm going to go to my second project within uh, Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to do file, send to compressor, new batch. And then I'm going to do my third project. Same thing. File, send to compressor, new batch. Now when we go into compressor here, and I'm going to minimize that so it's so it looks a little bit better. You can see all of these. I've got the three projects in Final Cut Pro 10, and for each of them, I've got the option to do add. So what I'm going to do is do uh, YouTube. So this is going to go. These are videos that I'm going to upload to my YouTube channel where you're watching this. So in that scenario, Compressor has something that's called YouTube and Facebook up to 4K. So I'm going to select that. Um, now, I could also go back and add a second format. So say I'm going to upload this to YouTube, but I'm also going to share it with someone that has an iPad or an iPhone. So I can go to Apple Devices, and I can select Apple Devices 4K. There's a Apple Devices 4K HEVC 8-bit, HEVC 10-bit, all these different ones. And then there's HD, which is not 4K. And then there's SD, which is standard definition. So I could select one of those as well. So say I just want to do Apple Devices 4K, I'll select 4K and hit OK. So now I've got a video that would be exported for, that's optimized for Apple Devices, which is this one. And then the first one, which is optimized for upload to YouTube. But actually, I'm not going to share this with Apple devices, so I'm going to remove this. So I'm going to remove that. So I'm just going to do the YouTube one. The beauty of Compressor is that you could, up, you could export your project in a, in a variety of different formats. But again, for my, for my situation, I'm just going to do up to 4K YouTube uh, for all three of them. But you can see there's a ton of options in here, man. There's... Uh, so here's, let's see, MPEG, there's ProRes, all these different ProRes formats you can use. There's video sharing services, 4K, HD 720, HD 1080, large 540 SD, 480p or small. So depending upon how you want to package your video, and again, it may be a situation where you're, Sending your video to YouTube, you may be sending it to a to an Apple device, like an iPhone or an iPad. You may need something super compressed because you plan to email it. You know, you can't typically email videos. So in that scenario, if you had a short video, but you had to email it for some reason, maybe you do SD 480p, you know, to keep the file size down. So once you have selected the uh, the settings for all of your videos... You can go down here. Now you can see I'm doing three videos. So I'm going to have the Schwinn IC4 setup, first time riding, how to display Schwinn IC4 cadence and RPMs, and Apple Fitness Plus review after a week using. So I hit start batch, and then boom, I can expand this, and I can see the uh, the pro the progress for each uh, for each project. And it may take this, this right here is a super long video, so it may take a, a few seconds before you start to see a little bar right there. There'll be a little color bar, and it'll go all the way from, from the left side to the right side, man. You can expand this to see the details. It says here, it says processing, transcoding. It's got your elapsed time right here. It shows you, you know, how long it's been working on that particular video project. So it's a very uh, it's a very slick interface, and you know to further expand upon your compressor question. So this is kind of an overview of how I use it, you know, for uploading my for preparing my 4K videos for YouTube upload. 
But where it may also provide value is if you're working on a variety of different projects, say that, you know, maybe you had multiple customers and you were creating videos for them. You know, you could, you could edit those videos, send them to compressor and export them in whatever format is, is uh, preferred for that particular customer. So it, it can improve your workflow. Like I could go back right now while these are exporting from compressor, I could go back into Final Cut Pro 10 and work on other projects if I wanted to. So it's just a great way to, you know, think of Final Cut Pro 10 as your editing software because that's what it is. But think of Compressor as a way to better package your creations within Final Cut Pro 10. And then, you know, manage manage those uh, those exports, those video exports through Compressor program instead of tying up your, your uh, Final Cut Pro 10. So, you know, it's... It's uh, compressor is an important part of my workflow. Uh, this video right here, the first time riding, I was hoping it would show you a status bar, but it may take a minute because that video, I filmed it in 4K 30. It is 20 minutes and 34 seconds in duration, man. And I filmed it in 4K 30 with the Sony A7R4. So, I mean, that's a massive, massive chunk of uh, a video. But eventually what will happen, I mean, it's just a progress bar, dude. So, you know, you see this over here, this progress bar will start to, it'll appear shortly and, uh, you know, to work its way all the way to the right. And once it finishes that video, it'll move on to the next one in queue, which is how to displace when IC4 cadence and RPMs. And then it'll move over to the uh, final video, which is Apple Fitness Plus review after a week using. And check out my other, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check out my other videos because I'm going to do a separate video where I talk about using compressor and, you know, where you have multiple Mac computers because there's some cool stuff you can do with that, but that'll be a separate video. Adam, I hope this video helped. Uh, thanks again for the great question, and please ask any questions that you may have, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for your viewership, and you have a good day, man. Hey, y'all. Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's YouTube.com forward slash irix guy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever i post another video thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day